Hi, good morning, and welcome to the ZP Vlog and Podcast. So we do this vlog and podcast every um, Sunday at 8 a.m. London time, and we really do it to sort of wrap up the news from ZP for this week. So if I was to sort of talk about things that ZP has done or things that we've put into the public domain, one of the things that we have done is um, we've done a video on um, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. Now, many of our videos and many of what we do at ZP is really around the application of biosensing. But we wanted to kind of give a video that was really more useful for actually people having to learn electrochemical biosensing, maybe even, even for an exam situation. So we've um, sort of given much more of a sort of um, maths, let's say, introduction and a technical introduction to um, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. I know this is not our natural style. You know, our natural style is to kind of give the why as to, as opposed to the how. Uh, but this time we have actually done this. And it's because we're in mind that many people who follow us, for example, on YouTube, um, maybe undergraduates, uh, maybe graduates who are slightly shifting into impedance spectroscopy. And we want to sort of help those people out. I think it says something about the ZP kind of philosophy that is, you know, this is a commercial company. It does, you know, we literally have to make money, of course. That's the reality of being in business. But it also says that it doesn't mean you can't do things that, you know, are both helpful for yourselves and helpful for the wider community as well. So we do try to keep, keep that um, in mind. Something else that we put out there this week, um, we have been asked about urinalysis quite a bit of recent. Um, urinalysis, you know, I mean, it, there's, you know, it's almost just two words put together, obviously, this sort of analysis of urine. But that's an, Im an immensely broad um, topic. Um, so we've actually been essentially looking at the question and saying, OK, what technologies do we have around urinalysis? And it did remind me of something that's being advertised quite a lot at the moment. Um, in the UK, there's somebody um, has branded a test for detecting, I think, blood in urine. It's called the ICL test. Um, and I realized that, of course, at ZP, we have, whereas there's is a, um, a colorimetric test, I suspect, that it sort of changes color um, in the presence of blood. Um, ZP actually has that kind of technology. It just happens to be electrochemical with ZP. But I think electrochemical is actually quite a good technology for the modern age because everyone's going to be using a smartphone or everyone wants the data in the cloud, everyone wants to track. And the ICL test, I'm um, sorry, is a nice test. It's colorimetric, um, but with and the ZP type technology, um, it can be essentially digital. So we did put some um, notes out there this week about the um, ICL test, not the ICL test, but our sort of electrochemical equivalent to it. Um, just to remind that every Thursday at 8 a.m. London time, we do do our ZP Developer Zone um, webinar. Here we have technical questions that come in from the week and we like to answer those questions. Um, and it's probably worth saying that um, we've had some good questions this week and we will be um, well, already prepared for it, to be honest with you. So um, 15th of June, 8 a.m. London time. If you've um, got any questions, get them in before then um, through the Contact Us button on the website and um, we will try to include them. Um, some other news from ZP this week as well is that we're quite um, tied in with Swansea University. Um, several of the professors there, we do um, work with them and they are holding a um, workshop and a summit on natural products, opportunities in natural products. Um, ZP will be um, going along to that and so we've um, also, out of courtesy, um, are also promoting that as well, that there's a conference um, in Swansea on the, um, I don't know, on the 19th um, of July. And um, ZP will be um, attending that, the 18th and 19th of July. Um, some other news um, from ZP this week. Um, we've been getting um, we've been getting a lot of inquiries around um, commercializing biosensors, and I realised that actually our normal workshops, you know, we do promote them as being very technical, but we also, as I said earlier on, we try to put the why into things. And so actually we do talk about the commercial landscape of in vitro diagnostics. And so if you're interested in urinalysis and you're more interested in the kind of commercial aspect of urinalysis, um, then really um, come to one of our workshops as well. And we've obviously linked to that um, on our website um, 
as well. Now, um, something that we've been kind of promoting or uh, talking about for a little while now is this S3 um, Summit. So the S3 Summit stands for the um, Scandinavian Sensor Summit S3. And we've been quietly working away on it, finding speakers and etc. cetera. Um, and actually we've essentially succeeded in that, that we've um, identified um, 24 speakers. So we have a full um, roster of speaker list. Um, and um, we have, for example, attracted um, Accenture to speak. Accenture is actually a $61 billion business that I think um, consults to 91 of the 100 top 100 businesses in the world. And if you look at other metrics, I think they're sort of consulting to the top 500 businesses in the world. So they're um, a very high end, um, or at least they have a very um, um, covetous, if I can say that, um, client list. So Accenture will be talking and Conax will be talking. Conax is an interesting company. They're really doing water sanitation. Um, and I think they're a really good fit for us because obviously at ZP, we're interested in sensing um, and biosensing and water quality testing is all part of that. And um, we've also got um, ST Micro coming. ST Micro is a you know, billion dollar business um, making essentially microchips. And it's interesting that they sort of, their line for this is life augmented, you know, which really makes for a sort of, um, it really plays into the theme of digitization for a sustainable future, which the S3 conference is really um, all about. So really pleased that they're coming as well. And then we've got um, some Norwegian businesses coming as well, but very um, interesting businesses. And we have Life Care. They've been developing um, a MEMS, a microelectromechanical system um, for measuring um, glucose in diabetics. This is a long-term implantable. So we're delighted to have um, life care come along and we also have glucose set and glucose set is using a I think it's more of a sort of um, an expansion of materials in the presence of glucose um, sensor for CGM continuous glucose monitoring in um, patients so if I was to look at um, the news from ZP um, this week we've obviously talked about S3 Scandinavian sensor summit this is happening in September in Norway I think this is going to be really quite something quite spectacular um, and super useful if you're going to be in the sort of Scandinavian region at that time. Our more classic workshops um, on um, electrochemical biosensing, they do have quite a commercial element to them as well. So I would encourage people to come along to those. Don't forget, um, we will promote, you know, our partnerships, you know, with Swan University, we are promoting their workshops on natural products. Any technical questions, don't forget, come bring technical questions to us because we will cover it in our workshops um, and those technical questions can involve things like urinalysis and you know when we're sort of asked those um, questions about urinalysis then we are able to answer them by saying well look we have some technology for detecting um, urine in the blood and then we're able to also um, we're also able to put stuff into public domain to help people out um, and I would say that by students and people trying to learn about impedance spectroscopy which is a video that we have put out there this week just a last comment, if you've got any particular videos or topics that you want covered through videos, do let us know at ZP and I'm sure we'll um, be sure to make them, at, you know, put them on the list and make them at some point. Okay, well, I'll leave it at that for this week, but I just want to say thank you if you listen to the, or you watch the vlog and listen to the podcast. And there's lots of contact buttons on our website, so if you've got any questions, um, please reach out to us. Okay, thanks very much.